this is Callie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my video today is going to talk about how I am using my Coco Daisy Dory insert. This is the standard size. Um, so that I'm using all the pages. Um, that's something that I always like to do. I don't like to waste the pages if I can. I like to know that I'm using them. And I came up with a few things last month that um, I really liked and I decided to incorporate them into my future um, setup. So um, this is the cover of my Dory booklet, which I just simply covered with pattern paper. This is one of the uh, personal size dashboards from the dashboard kit adhered to the front. I've got a video posted on my March setup, so if you want to hear more about that, you can go watch that. Um, okay, so inside I always put the Planner uh, Challenge printable. This is a free printable in the Coco Daisy shop. Um, this is the standard size printable, which I sized down to 95%, just so it would look like it was matted on the inside of the front cover. So this helps me a lot as I um, go throughout the month and I'm planning um, what I can do. Okay. This is the month at a glance. These are my, um, commitments for Coco Daisy for the month. And I put one of the sticker tabs from the sticker sheet. I think it's the planner kit. It might be the planner add on, um, sticker tab. So it's very flexible. It doesn't have a lot of, um, stability to it, but that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. So it's my month at a glance page. The back of it is my goals page. So I use stickers from various kits. Now I get the planner kit, the planner add-on, the planner classified, and the memory keeping pocket cards, and the dashboards. So I have various stickers that come in the various kits and I put them all together and use them however I feel like. So I, I always like to have a goals page. So things that I, really want to make sure I try to get done during the month. So this is my goals page. On the right side, I set up a spring cleaning and an organization goals because it's kind of getting to be that time of year. I want to purge some stuff, donate stuff, um, organize stuff. So that's my page there, how I'm using that. This is one of the fold over tabs, just so I can find this page easily. It's actually so that I can get to the first week. Okay, so that's that one. Um, okay, here's my setup. Now, these pages as they come are intended to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let me show you another one that I haven't done anything on. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. With this little thing in here so you can have half that for the weekend. This is too much room for me throughout the week and not enough room on the weekend. So I adjusted it to fit my needs and I've been dividing the left side of the page into six sections. So I'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then one random section that I just put decorative stuff in. I leave myself a section for notes or random thoughts and then a whole section for each of the weekend days because that's when I do a lot of my stuff. That's when I have things that we're doing with friends or we're going to movies or whatever. Um, this is working really well for me. These are my weekend chores, things that I do every single weekend. I pay the bills, I do the laundry, clean my disposal. <laughs> That's funny, but it really helps. Refill my vitamin thing, you know, the Monday through Sunday vitamin thing. Water my house plants, otherwise I will kill them. So this is really working well for me. I've been washi taping on this page that comes in the A5 kit. Um, I simply cut it down. It, it's, you know, A5 sized. So I cut off, I don't know, an inch and a half of it maybe and washi tape it to the edge. And there we go. So it's already Monday through Sunday here for me. I stamped the dates. I think this was a January stamp that had the numbers in it. So I stamped actually in green, and it's hard to see that it's green. It's called Olympia Green Versafine. Um, it almost looks black on here. So this is my menu plan for the week. And I put one of these sticky tabs here. I love how that looks. And this is my to-do list for the week. So, um, and my TV that I wanna make sure I get watched. 
Um, this is working really well. Really, really liking this setup. I've, this is my third month now to start this and it's working great for me. So I've got a page set for each week, just like this, week three, etc. So all the way till, gosh, the end of the month. Now the last uh, one will be just two days, Monday and Tuesday, because on the 1st of April, I'll be moving into my April setup. So I don't know how I'll lay this out yet, but I will only have Monday and Tuesday here, which might be a little weird, but I will just jump right into the next um, insert. So that's that. I did white out a little bit of stuff here because when I cut it off, it cut off part of the words. Um, so I just made it look good. So that's those pages. This is the last page that's designated for your sort of weekly planning and I didn't need it. So I labeled this as blog. And so this is where I'm going to keep ideas for the blog posts that I'm uh, responsible for future ideas, thoughts, um, pictures I need to take, how far along I am in the setup. So there you go. Next is this full page layout that I have designated as my currently page. So I'm currently reading, listening, and watching different things. And there's room for me to add as I go along because I'll finish this book and move on to another one. Um, currently listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers. Just really like them. Um, I can add other things here if I pick up a... a different music that I'm listening to, whatever, and shows I'm watching. Um, because I intend to keep these inserts, these are kind of um, ways of memory keeping and so you can remember what was happening in that month and what you liked. So that's my currently page. Then I have my inbox page. This is actually the very center of the booklet and I always washi tape over those staples that are here. Um, I don't know that it makes any difference in how it um, if it snags the elastic or not, I just like the way it looks. So I labeled this as my inbox. This is where I can write down anything that I need to attend to that I haven't figured out where I want to put it yet. So this is kind of intended as almost a brain dump, actually. So that's my inbox page. Next is my in the news pages. I did this in February and this is whatever's current events are happening in the news. There's a lot about coronavirus in my February layout, and here's February, here's how it ended up looking. Um, so I kind of created little boxes around things so I could see, but all of this was coronavirus. Um, so it's kind of a bullet journal-y style page, and um, so whatever is happening, you know, I'll get that on those pages. Then I'm doing gratitude. This is the back half of the book. You could plan on these pages, but I am using them for daily gratitude. So I have marked out a box for each day and there's plenty. So I'm just going through. And when we got down to the last one, I am going to have to make these be, um, you know, a little squishy, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, then I had this last page. I didn't want to just have one day randomly over here. That's why I did that. This is my to-do list. So I just set up each section. This one's set for home. I will have one for work. Um, just different things that I need to do throughout the month. So this is my to-do pages. And then my last page back here, it's a full page spread, is notes. And, um, you know, I can just write anything in here again. It's almost like a brain dump. I've got the inbox and the notes page, but... Um, you know, I can just write down stuff that, that is happening or going on. Um, and then that's the last back page. So there you go. That is my Dory insert. Um, I do keep them and I put them in a box at the end of the year. So I have the whole year. And I just like the way this really um, is working. It's working out really great for me. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you're liking Coco Daisy and you're a brand new subscriber, you've never subscribed before, Please make sure you mention my name when you subscribe in the comments box. And you can look forward to getting a coupon good on a future purchase with them. Um, so please like and subscribe if you like my video so you can get all my future content. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.